Hello my amazing Sagittarius. I already previously shuffled these cards. So I want to make sure that I just shuffle in the front of the camera. Just a quick shuffle. I already went over to the energy. Right, if this is a reading for November 9th to November 15th for, Sag for the sign of Sagittarius. So remember my readings are timeless. And take it as it resonates. Okay, so energies for Sagittarius from November 9th to the 15th. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I just do like four cards for the weekly reading. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so I do two cards for love. Ooh, I like it. And this is the message for you for this week. What things you need to make sure that you, what energy you need to make sure that you keep in your head and in your mind. Okay, here it comes. Is the fire of earth. Fears surrounding money, the winds, the wisdom to accept and help from all, to, the wisdom to accept help from others, and certain self employment. Mm. Okay. So first, I wanted to go over to the tower moment, to the tower car. Okay. It seems like something is happening now in your life that is. Um, Making you to think different about things. Um, you're probably going to have later on a moment that is going to change your life forever. Things are going to change. And I, let me tell you, things are going to change for the best. Things are going to change in your life for the best. I kind of like to reconfigure the cards because I can like tell the story better. So... Um, um, so it comes that you're going to have what you are having right now, a tower moment. Tower moments mean that you change things. Things in your life is changing. And most of the time, the change is for the best. And I can tell for the other cards that the change is for the best. Don't worry about it. It doesn't mean anything. It means that things are changing. And you're going to understand and learn your lesson about things that you did wrong. And you're going to move on. And things are going to get uh, gonna get really good. So another thing that I got is the five of wands, and you have the knights of wands. So you probably are having um, a moment right now that you just probably don't like it, and you just uh, you or oh, you're gonna have um, moments that are like uh, discussions and fights and things that are not good at the moment. It doesn't seem like it's good, but you have the knights of wands. Something that is pressuring, pressuring forward. Things are going to get better. The ones is about flourishing things. You know, flourishing, growing things, making things green, making things better. And I and I see also that you have the Ten of Pentacles. Pentacles are about money and material world. Everything here of this card is just simply amazing. And I think this card has to be, uh, this uh, reading has to be a lot with money because you have this card that talk about um, fears surrounding money. So I guess you're going to have a change and you're going to be, fear, you're going to have a fear that things are not going to go that well for you. But you have to have faith. You have to have faith. Things are going to go your way. And money is coming your way, but the big, in the big, big way. In the big, in the way that you never see it before come to you. Look, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is money, but money coming big. Um, money coming your way um, in the big way. I don't know if you're maybe going to have a new person in your life that have money. Uh, it can be because you have the Nine of Wands in here. So maybe you have a new person in your life that's going to have money. It's going to bring money. And in love, you have trust the situation, 
calling for you have faith. Well, we talk about it, uh, just having faith. Yes, having faith. And you probably have a love from your past that is going to come back, you know, text you, send you a text message or something. He probably is not going to come and just tell you, oh, I'm so in love with you. I miss you. He's probably going to come and say like, hey, or something like that. Just make sure you are warned. And you just say, you know, oh, hey, how are you? Happy to see you. Happy to hear from you. And see where things take you. Because it seems like a love from the past is coming. It's coming back. Someone is returning to your life. And make sure that you have an open mind and you trust. You need to trust the universe. That things are going to go your way. And look, and you have everything that you need for things are going to go your way. You have one of the best cards on the tarot. The Ten of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, I hope that you are having a great week. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, please. I would really appreciate it. That will help me a lot. Bye-bye.